What's up, everyone? Andrew Reiner here with another episode of Game Informer's God Hand, which is played by Joe Juba. That's me. And Ben Raves is here. I'm here. And Leo Vader. I'm here. We're all here. So we're in the circus? Yeah. Sure. Part two? Yep, I think the first first order of business is going to be to punch and kill these guys. I was thinking about this game quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Too. Uh, do you think you moisturize the god hand? Or is it just naturally perfect? It's Wait a minute. Oh, sure. What do you mean moisturize? Oh, like, like, would you have to like cut its cuticles or... Oh, Jewish. like use lotion on it and stuff. Or would it just be perfect by virtue of it being the god hand? Yeah. Right. Oh, that's a good question. Or yeah, or like the skin crack, you know. Do the nails put a callus up? Whoa! Are the nails just made out of like adamantium and they're like super tough? Or adamame. Adamames. <laughs> oh man, I could go for a bowl of adamame <laughs> nails adamame. right now. Adamantium. Yeah. Mmm, delish. I like the idea of Wolverine, except instead of adamantium claws, he has Adamame claws. I yeah. I won't be fighting crime. I'm not equipped for it. Oh, what? I want to punch eating. this thing so bad. You know I actually I think Wolverine's hands are better than this guy's hands. This guy's hands are just hands. Just hands. Yeah. No, it's a little reductive, Reeves. Well, Which one you know is what? the god oh, hand? Like I see it. <laughs> I the glowy one, right? I think it's the one that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is the god hand? <laughs> the glowy one. <laughs> Boy, I don't know. What? Punch, punch, punch. Yeah. I like where this is going. Its brain is filling up. Do you think, like, every other limb on his body hurts a lot, but the god hand's fine? Like, god hand's really tough, but why does he even Do you bother think it, using the other Yeah, hand? really. Why is he kicking so much? Do you think it's, like, it's kind of like a 60-watt light bulb? Do you think it's warm like that? Hmm. Oh, that'd be kind of nice. Yeah. Actually. I get cold a lot. I what if we're mis like misinterpreting and it's not actually light, it's just like a bunch of pollen shooting off of it. Oh, oh it's like inspectors. That was that whole area? Take it. I didn't fight a thing. I just Hey, take it. Hey, quit complaining. Was there That's something progress. you were supposed to do with those chihuahuas? I don't know. Oh. I tried hurting them. That's the only thing you I did? know how to do in this game. <laughs> All I feel is pain. Oh, this is a story sequence. And now for our special guest, this should prove to be a wonderful um, show. Uh, cool. Yep. Classy. Her boobs are talking right now, okay? <laughs> so it's important to show <laughs> Wait, was it her boobs or her crotch? Battle, but I'm no one's toy. Who knows? Yeah. But if you're after a playmate, I know this one girl. You just don't understand women. <gasps> he knows <What>? one girl? <laughs> <laughs> there can hmm. never be two queens. Something about her. We don't I understand like. women. We just love stripper poles. <laughs> yeah. All of us. Looks like this dog can be trained. I can't but there's something I like here. Like, was this se Did anyone find this sexy? The only bitch that needs training is you. Like, Wait, right now? I like, did any of us find that sexy is the question? So did I miss a classic huh? Reeves bit? First oh, my I God. <laughs> I heard something about really? finger. Mm. Yeah, we'll just like leave it at that. that. Okay. All the time. Wait a minute. He was just sitting down with a beer. Good point. That... Man. As someone who who is, like, in the... 90s experiencing uh -huh. all the advertising and how everything is over sexualized. Yeah. I just recently got a over it ship a oh, thing of Pringles. Oh yeah. With Overwatch on it because you get a free loot box. <laughs> but it has an image of Sombra on it and it says extra hot. What? Oh. Extra is, hot. And okay. as someone from like that time, I immediately thought like, oh god, Wait, they're talking about Sombra. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually like the flavor of the chip. Uh-huh. Oh boy, this is uncalled for. Joe, can we even air this episode now? <laughs> <laughs> is Put this, an explicit tag on it. Is extra hot a flavor though? Like it has to have a flavor. It has a flavor, but they just advertise that it's extra hot. Yeah. But like I'm saying, like all the ads for Tomb Raider and all that stuff were all about that, right? But right. I mean, should it say like buffalo chicken or something? Like, <laughs> or have a flavor like uh, Tomb Raider? Yeah, like, Hot isn't a flavor. Like, spicy is something that augments a flavor, not a flavor in and of itself. Right. right. Yeah. Well, sure, but there were just potato chips that were spicy flavored? Yeah. I don't remember the the actual flavor, but it said extra hot on it. I, I would think. argue that, say, a jalapeno what? pepper is what? a flavor. Mm. Well, if it said jalapeno, then I would get it. Yeah, then that's a flavor, but not if it just sure. says hot flavored. <laughs> With a variety of peppers <laughs> yeah. are involved. Cool. 
What? See, Cool Ranch only works because it's Cool Ranch. What's happening in here? Oh, nice job with my strawberry. What if, what if you just got a bag of chips and it just said cool on there? Was this, just, <laughs> was this whole thing just, just a trap? <laughs> like, <laughs> Honestly, I would buy those. Yeah. That so would be cool. Pringles, and then it averages in the next biggest font is extra hot, uh -huh. and then in a small font under that is chili and lime. Oh. Well, that sounds good, actually. I think chili and lime. But you get a lime. free loot box for Overwatch if you eat them. No, get out of there. Okay, Come that's on. why you really bought Do your it, thing. though. That's the only reason I bought it. Chili and lime is a great flavor. Uh, let's see, the spicy chili is also really good. It's probably very similar. Lime and chili? Yeah. Oh, what so if you good? just picked up a bag of chips and it just said spicy on it, and that was it? Or I'd, just I'd there weren't them. even chips on the bag. Yeah, it was I just a it bag spicy. that said spicy. <laughs> well, get out. I would be actually still drawn to it, though, because yeah? I like spicy foods. What, what's the picture on that bag? Uh, Laura Croft. Laura Croft, and it yeah. just says spicy? Yeah. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I meant to bring this up last time. Do you think Odd Job should have had that wizard's hat with <laughs> saws on the side of it <laughs> instead of his regular <laughs> bowler hat or whatever? Stove pipe. Wait, so on the sides are buzz saws? Mm hmm. Well, he has it's a big, uh, tall wizard's hat. 100%. He has to wear it out in public and look like he's blending, though, right? Yeah. Replace Fair any point. hat, any person's hat with a wizard hat. It always makes it better, right? Yeah, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. That had been his signature hat. That'd be good. Wow. The okay. a yarmulke. Yep. Babe Ruth. Babe, did, was he wearing a hat? I guess he had baseball hats. Right? Oh boy. What? Uh -oh. oh no! You've really done it what? now. Those chihuahuas were foreshadowing. Get out of there, dude. Get, yeah, I'm. T get out of there, dude. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Don't be that, dude. I'm not joking around. <laughs> Stop being a dog. Oh, come on! You've got three of those things. Yeah, honestly. Three. Those... I'm trying. Or Is... Joe, as a... I'm going to call you a father of dogs, because I don't like saying owner of dogs, right? Okay. okay. I'm gonna you call have you those a... little dogs at home. I have... T I, oh, yep. I have some dogs. Dang Do you it. prefer the term dog mom? No, I don't like those. Okay. No. We actually had an intern who, who was a dude... Who called himself a dog mom, which I thought was weird. Really? I guess. Is that a thing? I guess that's a thing. Hmm. Maybe he nursed them. Do what you want. <laughs> yeah, that was it. He just opened up his shirt and he had like six nipples. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Under special skills yeah. in the interview. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to your dogs. Completely worthless in the game realm. Are you regretting getting the little ones rather than like a big one? Nah. I, okay, hold on. There we go. Well, wasn't there that what um, Tokyo Jungle game? Didn't you play as a small dog in that? Yeah, you could be a Pomeranian. Were they good though, or was it just like the starting dog? Uh, yeah, they could be good. You could do well with them. I I got an A rank, and when you do that with the Pomeranian, I believe you unlock a tuxedo to wear. Oh, wait, has the Pomeranian? Has the Pomeranian? It's incredible. Okay. That Sounds game in general, good. very underrated. I kind of is think... it out on PS4? No, or is it just PS3. It's PS3. I kind of think the smaller a dog is, the cuter it is. Mm. I mean, there are cute big dogs too, but so that's a hot so take, that's, Joe. But that's what you're going for then is cute dog. It's not like I'm going for it, but I'm, ha I'm... Well, you bought two of them. Well, one of them's really small. The other one's just kind of small. My friend's mom had a tiny, tiny dog that was just an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> just 15 breeds in one. It looked like an ottoman that waddled around and made just made constant <laughs> noises whenever it exerted any, any uh, force. Yeah, run circles around her. It was hilarious. I want that banana. No, oh, come on! Did she knock that out of you? No, I... <laughs> I'm just gonna bark. It's gotta be a more effective Stop way it. to get away, then. Get out of there! Oh, this is bad. Oh, nice. Nice, dude. If by bad, you mean excellent. <laughs> I think you want those bananas. I'm just kind of blown away by how much that dog looks like Joe's. What? No way. I have I Boston think... Terriers. That dog looks totally The same different. colors. Yeah. Same size. True. Same size. True. Yeah. Same shape. That's why everyone who has a goatee looks exactly like Rhino. Same That's true. Species. Whenever I see it in a game, I'm like, <laughs> they copied my look. Mm. 
I thought my boss was Tony Stark for like three years. <laughs> he did. You know, Ben used to work at Marvel. That's uh, right. I was editor in chief. What? All right. Well, that turned out okay somehow. Not really. They went into bankruptcy. I wasn't talking about you. Oh, okay. Let's talk about <coughs> yeah, Marvel. Joe is really trying to focus on this, and we're attacking his dog. Oh, nice. Yep. And trying to get him involved uh, in these come conversations. On. Get out. Psychological warfare. Yeah, Joe told me to stop attacking his dogs. It's like if you bring him in the office. <laughs> yeah. Fair game, dude. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Keep it up. I'm trying. Keep doing that, dude. Have we ever done a best dog of all time list on Super Replay? On Replay? Yeah. I've, did we do one on the website? I feel we like we have it. in the magazine at least. But we're, we're talking gaming dogs no, or dogs? No, just in general, like Old Yeller. Yeah! Oh, Jill well, likes that's it. not a gaming dog, though. No, that's what I'm saying, just in general. Yeah. Oh, best dogs, period. Old Yeller, I mean, didn't even live, so he's not that great. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Never Suck it. been so embarrassed. <laughs> I know. I always seem to exceed women's expectations. You certainly I think he's saying he's got mine. a big one, guys. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Oh. Another satisfied customer. This is farewell for now. Mm, it's not farewell, then. Okay. <laughs> 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 Why didn't she summon that earlier? <laughs> she could have had a that, butt. How did this run him game over. get made? Oh, this is amazing. That is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I hey, accidentally job beating him. I accidentally slayed a villager. So the trick has is the power to get around however she wants. The trick was not to go bus. inside the cage. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah that the cage was definitely a, a strawberry trap. World building. Shannon, it seems you failed us as well. <laughs> right, her name is Shannon? Uh, don't talk to her like that. Remember who's what? in charge. I okay. want excuses. That wasn't even harsh. You just have to let me finish what I've started. We want him alive. I'll do it. Hmm. Okay, yes. Shut up, human. Uh, hmm. You think we'd let filth like you screw this up? Elvis, shut up! Oh, that's right, Elvis. <laughs> Just let me make that man my slave. Like, this is she's so confident after she just got the sh kicked out of her. Try Dr. Ion. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna use a cheap tin can for this? If Dr. Ion can capture the gun <laughs> and he can take your place <laughs> in the four Davis. <sighs> if you replace me with that stupid toy, these meetings won't go any smoother. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I think all we do is hold these ridiculous meetings. Well, that's all we've seen you do. <laughs> Who's I'm gonna do this my way? Is this or Doctor Ion? Is this Doctor Ion or is that someone else? This guy does not look like Doctor Ion. It's Roger Stone. Ooh. Guys, Elvis didn't mention food once. And no one mentioned his love of food? No! Ow! He and he defended that woman's honor? He's starting to become a well-rounded character. I appreciate it. <laughs> we beat it into him. Uh, Elvis. Th too bad he didn't make our like top ten characters of the decade or whatever. He really should have. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be ashamed of our words and deeds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our lack of word and deed. <sighs> that quote is going to live forever. I it think. is so funny that he thought we would be ashamed of our words and deeds once he found out the reason quiet was scantily clapped. Hilarious. Kojima does not know how much it takes to make me ashamed. Because what was the reason she had to breathe through her skin? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Guys, there's nothing I could do. Wait a when minute. When the character of Quiet occurred to me, I can buy that puppy was pizza again. Oh, keep doing it, dude. I um almost suffocated last night because I had covers on while I was sleeping. Okay. Yes. <laughs> just let you know. Just, just like, quiet. like quiet. Yeah. Just like quiet. There's something there, right? Like, you put a mask over your face, you can still breathe. Yeah. Like, a, you're saying a breathable shirt would ruin her day? Yeah, if you put your face in your shirt, you'd go unconscious. Yeah. Not being able to breathe. <laughs> you always see that in movies, that when, like, people put a rag over somebody's mouth and they pass out. It's just a rag, right? <laughs> <laughs> Any old rag will do? Yeah, yep. yeah. It just, it Any doesn't... rag, about five to ten seconds, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there are people that think that. There are people that don't understand that that rag has been treated beforehand. Mm -hmm. People named Ben Reeves. 
Oh, now the puppy pizza is sold out. What? Oh, what? Hmm. I think you might not have really oh, bought no, it the no, first no. time. I bought, I bought it the second time. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. You need a gold plate to eat the puppy pizza. Yeah. Off. Yeah, man. The right. only way to eat puppy. I was really hoping you would buy that gold plate. I don't want to say anything. What can I sell? <laughs> Do I have anything good to sell? Sell techniques. Mm. I like all my techniques. They're like your children. Yeah. Yeah, I can't sell them. But back to the dog. Right. Best dog ever. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Cujo. Cujo. Oh, oh, Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo's a good contender. Easily. What about, he can speak and solve mysteries. Bro. What about Rapide from Tales of Vesperia? Oh, he smokes pot. <laughs> oh, that's a big, big knock against him. Uh, yeah. The Taco Bell dog. Oh. Is he good? Yeah, Yokiro Taco Target Bell. Dog. The Target dog. Spuds McKenzie. Getting their friends. Rude dog. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, lots of man. This competition is fierce. <laughs> Hong Kong Fooey. What? Huh. Wasn't he a dog? Yeah. Santa's Number little one helper. super guy. Yeah, he was a dog, right? Santa's little helper for sure. What about Crypto? He's I, he's probably the best dog. Crypto. He's Superman's dog. He can fly. Oh, super strong. Yeah. Yep. Is Santa's little helper and Santos L. Helper two different entries, or are those the same? Every woman I know. No, hold on. Her pet. Hmm. Isn't it because you're a little puppy? You also, like he's probably on the list then. Go. <laughs> I <laughs> guess. <laughs> he's a puppy. Since you're going out, I'd like you to destroy this mobile fort for me. Hey now, you should do your own. Hey, while out. you go get They're milk, can you also destroy this fort? <laughs> Checked it out. Listen, do me a favor. Stay here and be a good girl. What? I knew you cared about me. Aww. You're crazy. Hmm. At least their relationship's totally clear still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a real the real bedrock we can build <laughs> yeah. our understanding of this game on. Like Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh. There's right where she said it would be. Ah, mobile mobile fortress. <laughs> Wait, is this the right one? Is this the right brand of mobile fortress I need to destroy? I think this is a divine beast. Uh oh, good luck, Joe. Just punch it. I mean that. No, oh, never mind. You're just going the in. Answer. Uh, Air Bud. Mm. Oh, easy. Lassie. <laughs> McGruff. My dog, dog Skip. Lady and. And the tramp, that's two, that's right? That's true. Yep. Yeah, all 101 Dalmatians. The dog's in Homeward Bound. Beethoven. Oh, wow. Bam! Did the parents... Which dog in Homeward Bound, Joe? The brave one or the comic relief one? Well, I think, I think okay. mostly the cat. There's Chance. He's he's the one Michael J. Fox voice. He's a rapper. Oh, he was good. I don't remember the name. <laughs> what? That's my move. That's it. Oh, oh no, no! No! Nice, nice counter. All right, hold on. You guys are getting, you guys are getting barreled. Where's that barrel? <laughs> you guys are getting barreled. <laughs> there we go. They're gonna oh. regret leaving that barrel it's out. It's gonna be a barrel left. Trust me. All right, first we back up a bit, and then we turn around. <laughs> okay, well. Stop! 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 I wonder if you could have caught her in the <laughs> air there. That was not as explosive as I'd hoped. All right, we got to pick one of these dogs. I'm still for Crypto. We're McGruff. Mm. Is that what people mean when they say cryptocurrency? Yeah. He's rich. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I mean, I guess it's hard to pick one dog. Like, I need to know the criteria we're Isn't working there with. Isn't there a like, greatest dog ever? Yeah, greatest. But, I mean, what makes him the best? Doesn't matter. It could be anything. Yeah, that's your job. Could be their for special it. skills that are either fictional or real. Their name, their look. Isn't there a like Who cereal box? By? Is there a cereal box dog? What? Mm. No. There's no bo dogs on the back of a cereal box. There's, There's a, a tiger and a frog. I don't think oh. there's a dog. Oh yeah, I mean crisp dude or whatever his name. There's a bear. That's weird that there's no dog, right? Because I mean, dogs are like the most popular animal. That maybe is a little too close to no, home. No, no, no. Cookie Crisp. Oh, he's, he's a, dog, a dog, right? Huh. Oh, wait, I thought the Cookie Crisp guy was a robber. 
I think he's changed. He was a wizard at some point, too. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I he was. That. I, I remember there was a wizard, yeah. <laughs> Cookie crisp. That's how a dog would say it, right? So that's it's probably a dog. I'm gonna search dog cereal. Mascot. What about the the werewolf from uh, what is that? Frankenberries? No, that's Frankenstein, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it's, it's a wolf. It's a Cookie Crisp wolf. Chip the wolf originally oh, okay. known as the Howler. Speaking of a wolf, look at that. Uh, that was not intentional, but oh, that was awesome. I'll take it. All right, we just all got to name crap. one. Use your thing. All right, ready? Yeah, you go. Okay, on the count of three. Uh -huh. Use your thing on the count of three. Okay, yep. No, we're going to name our dog. Yeah, name oh. your dog. The best dog of all time. And if we have a repeat, then that's the dog that wins. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, three. Scorpio. Scorpio. What? I said crypto just so we could be done with the best dog thing. Oh, oh I said crypto as well. No, that's... Greatest dog of all time, <laughs> Superman's dog. <laughs> I think Scooby-Doo would with that. win in a fight, though. Yeah, he probably would. Wait, Scooby-Doo would be... Oh, hold He's on. He's more powerful. No. He definitely eat <laughs> more sandwiches. <laughs> yep. He would run away from him and lead him into some trap that he didn't know was even set up. Did you guys ever want to eat one of those giant sandwiches? Of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. One of those grinders? Oh, man. Those are the best. Big time. Nice Did job. Did everybody who watched that show envision themselves as shaggy? Uh, that's what I did. No, I was always kind of Fred. I, yeah, Leo, I think I kind of did. Like you, you understood his motivation more than anyone, right? Exactly. Like, you got scared by a ghost and all that yeah. stuff. Yep. He had a strong friendship with a dog. With a dog, that's right. Oh, what the heck is that goes from? Did anybody else have a crush on Daphne? I was a Velma man. I'm yeah, Velma's on. the one everyone has a crush on. Velma's the one with the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I got them mixed up. Right. <laughs> you can't find someone with glasses attractive. No, I mean, <laughs> I thought you guys were confused. <laughs> In Ben's world, no, no. Velma just cannot be attractive. No one would, no one would like her. There's the hot one and there's the one with glasses. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's how I thought. I also like the uncertainty. Did anyone else have a crush on Daphne? Which now I understand means that, of course, no one had a crush on Velma. But it's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everybody did. Oh, I get it, though. Good dog talk, guys. Yeah. Good dog yeah. talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to do something good. Hit him into the sky. Grovel. Have yeah. we done Grovel before? I don't think so. Let's try that. It's Let's not giving me that option. You probably need more than one. Can we talk about the guy in the background there? Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, is that Neo? In front of us. Like, like what, get what out are here, these guy. containers? Come, come on. Man. They look like a Bacta tank. Oh, Definitely. yeah. Yeah, see that. Are they drowning? Uh, no, it's trapped by demons for their own sadistic pleasures a go go. <laughs> oh. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. I needed explanation. I'm now more confused. Oh, oh do you man. Think, do you think medical doctors in the Star Wars universe went to Bacta school? What? No, the Bacta tank. Wasn't that for healing? What people? do you think Bacta is? Wasn't that for healing people? Right. In the battlefront, at least. But, like. I don't get the joke, because you wouldn't say, like, do doctors today go to bandage school? It was a joke. He was saying back to school. No, like. it was funny. Back to school. Yeah. Uh, oh! Okay, there we go. I mean, so, I get... I so, so laugh. I understand it now. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> the humor will kick in in about three hours. <laughs> oh, man, no! Get, I want it! I want that little electro thing. <laughs> and they just keep beating the crap out of me. Yeah, you've really got to disarm that guy. Why are they electrocuted? You got an edge today, Joe. I like it. I'm grumpy. I've been trying to play... I mean, I guess this will this will let you guys know when we're recording it, but I've been trying to play the Anthem beta like all morning. Mm -hmm. And I'm grumpy because the servers just are not working. Mm -hmm. It's probably not okay. good anyway, Joe. It's so it's right. the servers, not because of the game. I mean, I wish I knew how the game was. I would like to play it. 
Yeah, Leo's probably right. You should pl- probably play uh, Fallout 76 instead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good idea. Now that that game's out, I think they've fixed everything. <laughs> nice we're getting through that. I thought that was going to be a disaster, given how many there were in such a tight, confined area. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like it went okay. Now I'm mad, though, because I finally got my electro stick, and it's, I think we're just moving right on. Yeah. yeah. These areas seem shorter than... Yeah, I don't quite understand the like the breakdown here of like how many areas are in a stage and whatever. It's fun no matter what. Okay, so now do Uh-oh. not Uh-oh. attack Uh-oh. her. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, she's over, over there. Can you throw that? Can you yeah, take that, buddy. Nice. Whoa! Oh, wow! You're a hero. Give All him right, a now. banana. Yeah, where's my reward? I'm not helping oh, people. They're coming uh, behind you. There's a guy behind you. Okay. Help her. Where? Never mind. On the other side, right? Um, d- oh, there he is. Yeah. Do you think if somebody threw Wait, a are those good giant guys? whiskey barrel at oh, your shit, head? There's somebody hurting her again on the other side, though. There is? Yes. Oh, is this like a barrel mini game? <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's stop that. Do you that. think you could survive that, though? Like if you got hit with a giant whiskey barrel? Yeah. Like I mean, it was full of whiskey? Get a concussion, go to the hospital or something, but would you live? It yeah. depends on where it hits you. If it hits you in the head, you got a low chance. Because it probably wouldn't really break, right? Right, it would just seriously like take your head off. Even at a low velocity, that thing would weigh so much. Yeah. Well, it could like snap your neck or something, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, just, or just no. Put a no! dent in the next skull. area. Go to the next area. The woman's in trouble. Get in. Oh, you idiot! You're so close to dead. You can run to the next area. Uh oh, you just made him harder. Go, oh! go, 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 go! He did what you wanted to. Joe, be a coward. Run. I saw a lot of compliments about Joe's play. From the last episode. Oh, that's not good. for me. <laughs> and he won't get him this time. <laughs> ben is the is the master of backseat playing. Mm. Harsh but fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't think See, those like, two at the end are going to attack you until you attack them. Well, but I also want to try Ben's genius theory here. Oh, yeah, okay. It does let you just go to the next (laughs) (laughs) But you lose experience. I was so sure it wouldn't work. Plus, it looked like that lady, once you got her to the starting point, she would put down that bridge and you'd go through a hundred crates and you'd get a ton of stuff. Oh, my gosh. You blew it, dude. You should have... You don't lose experience, but you lose gold, right? Can you go back to previous levels, though? I don't know. I don't think so. (laughs) Hold it. Wait, what? Give up the god hand. Oh, these guys... Only thing I'm giving he... up is an ass kicking. How does he give it up? I thought we beat them already. They ran away at the end. Like I thought Same I Same with the Power Rangers, man. All right. I thought I killed them. Like I really thought I murdered them. That was your <laughs> fantasies. That was a good dream you had. Where are they going? <laughs> they were like walking off. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh, we lost them again. <laughs> nice evasive maneuvers. She's just hanging out, so it's just those two right now. Get out of- she All can't right, throw stuff at you, can she? Oh, come on. Oh, she came down. All right. Dang it. No, no! <laughs> Did the banana disappear? No, it's right next to you. Shouldn't. Let's save it. Cobra twist! Yeah! Yes, that does good damage. Good point. That's one of the main reasons to do it. Is because of damage. Easily in the top 20 reasons to do mm. it. I think it's one of my favorite dogs. Mm. Snoop Dog. Mm. Oh, oh my man. gosh, this changes everything. Gotta reopen the discussion. I think that just in general, opening it to all dogs is too broad. Like, what if we just did video game dogs? Okay. Dog yeah. from Fable 2. It's the number one. Oh, yeah, see, that's a good How one. many other dogs are there? Uh, let's see. Uh, Rapide. Rapide. There's a dog in Persona 3, Koromaru. Okay. He's pretty cool. That's about it, right? 
Uh, yeah, that's every dog in every game, basically. <laughs> Cherry! Nice. The Pomeranian from Tokyo Jungle. As discussed. Mm. What was with that barrel throw? Yoshi. Yep. I'm struggling here, guys. Well, Yoshi that sure. barrel went over their heads. Like, why didn't it lock on? Duck. It does not seem like a rational approach to barrel throwing. Garfield. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And Nermal. <laughs> Kind of a tag team there. Mm -hmm. Is there one in Stardew Valley? The dynamic duo. Oh, I yeah, there that. is a dog in Stardew Valley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did well, you guys do dog or cat? Yeah. Dog. I went cat. Hey, I do the cat. talking ones in Animal Crossing count, or are those just weirdos? Do they have to be, like, realistic dogs? I don't think they'd hang on that list. Yeah. They're disgusting Ugh, monsters. Mm. Dog. Grovel. Nice. I like God stuff. I bet you there's one that does more damage, though. <laughs> Thanks, but fair. Thanks for being helpful. <laughs> oh, you can do this, dude. See, I'm encouraging. Nice kick to get yeah. both of them. I still don't understand. He uses both hands. Like, his God hand should do a ton more damage. He should just be like one punch man. I would like to play a One Punch Man video game. That'd be pretty good. Yeah. How would that work? Would you play as the other people too to make it challenging? I think you'd probably have to play as like that, the cyborg guy, right? Yeah. Probably. And then, and then you're like, well, no. Or it'd have to be, you know, written by the actual team and have it be part of the, like a big part of the game is that you're unkillable. Like that's what the game's yeah. about. Yeah. Like I, or I imagine that it's like. It's like a walking simulator. I, <laughs> right. I imagine that like. A Bayonetta style game where right. you play as that cyborg guy, yeah. and then like a new game plus, you can play as One Punch Man. Yeah, I can see that. Isn't there a banana out there still? Yes. Would you like me to go get the banana, Ben? Is that yeah, is that your I big think idea? That would be smart. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you knew it was out there. Just <laughs> <laughs> trying to help you, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a Why grump. Why so hostile? I'm a grump today. I really am. What kind of game grump? Hold on. Let's not get crazy here. Hmm. Donkey Kong? Probably be on the top dogs. I, I put um, up there. Huh. It's tricky dealing with all these enemies at once. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. Well, What's and the strategy to that? I'll tell you what. Unless there's really something I'm missing, God Hand does not excel in like crowd control mm -hmm. mechanics. Yeah. Um. Hey Ben Reeves. Mm -hmm. Let's pretend we're sports commentators. Oh okay. boy, pretend. Uh, <laughs> and Joe, you just you can't comment on this because you're like actually right. an athlete on the field. Oh and yeah, you, you aren't mic'd up. That's you always can't how I hear thought us. of myself. Yeah. Okay. You should not be able to hear us either. Yeah. So Ben, it seems like Joe's really struggling here. Yeah. Uh, it's not really putting together uh, a solid strategy. Uh, and the other team's just having their way with them. He what do you went think's going into wrong the here? season strong, but he was really falling behind. Uh, proving himself to be a really weak man. <laughs> and feeble-minded. But... Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, I hear uh, Leo on the field. He's got a, a call coming in. Hello? Leo? Take it away. I'm here playing the organ. Oh. <laughs> Please don't mind me. I don't know. There's no one's ever come into my organ booth and put a mic in my face before. I'm sorry. I'm just, just trying to play the organ. The game is so terrible that uh, we're looking for something to fill time. Yeah, sorry. Can't help you. I can play one of my original songs if you like. Yo, please. I think we have plenty of time. Oh, I think it's helping Joe. <laughs> one of my original songs. <laughs> That sounds very similar. This is my original song. Song! <laughs> <laughs> See, he made it his own. You should copyright that. I plan to. Do you copyright songs? How does that work? It's a trademark, right? No, it'd be copyright, right? Yeah. It's like so anything else, any other creative. When is it property. trademark? Trademark is for technology? That can't be right. I don't know. Oh, nice. that's a good one, dude. I'd keep doing that one. Yeah, it costs two, though. Get, oh, oh, my God. No. 
Oh, oh come man, on. you're so close. There's a banana over here somewhere. Defense. Come on, banana. No! Oh, 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 my gosh. You hate to see it. Wow. I just feel so defeated right now. Mm. What do you think is going through his brain right now, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he is second guessing if he'll ever be able to get through this. Mm-hmm. He's starting to think a little bit about Sonic 06. That's right. And the pain that brought to him. Right. And uh, he's wondering if uh, maybe we could cut the video and maybe edit it to make him look better. But you know what? That's not in the spirit of Super Replay. No. <laughs> yeah. It's, well, the, 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 it's not that you can't do No, it. you it's can't hear you us. Oh. What's he saying? Why is he talking? He shouldn't be able to hear us. Yeah, yeah he's that's talking to himself. That's madness sinking in. Yeah. Talking to himself. He's wondering if he'll be able to edit it so it looks good. Let's throw it to the judges. No, Ooh. we're not going to allow that. <laughs> Too bad. Y- Yugoslavia gets where, though. Got credit where it's due. At what point do you think people tuned out of this episode? Hmm. Mm. Dogs. After the dogs. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best. I mean, I that's the peak, and it's all downhill from came that. Came here for compelling dog list conversation. I just have other places I go to for my dog chatter, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Super dog play. Uh huh. Hey, you know the Smashing Pumpkins singer Billy Corgan? He uh-huh. was on. Uh, he's on the cover of Cat Fancy magazine. Really? Yeah. I thought it would be like a Billy Corgi. Yeah, joke. exactly. Yeah. That's where I thought that <laughs> I was. Thought you were going for one of those too. Her eye blew it. Focus oh the green gosh, guy. He's dude. almost dead. I tried. That's that good one. Me and Joe were talking about that attack earlier. Where said, are you? Man, when when are we doing that attack again? 100 fists? Yeah. We were trying to remember Do which one shoots him into the sky. I wouldn't have guessed it was 100 fists. Do it again. You might take him out. Come oh on, my God. Man. Banana time. Or what's that ball one? Wild pitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Curveball. <laughs> it went sideways. <laughs> it killed two. No, no but. Yo. Get your boot card, too. Oh, now you're full. And now the other guy's almost now dead, too. Now she's down here. Oh. Whoa! Oh, that's not fair. You thought she was gone. You got your god bar charged. Yeah. Use your hand. Yeah. All right. So it should be able to take out the big guy. Yeah. Her. All right. All right. This is getting more manageable. Oh, man. Yeah. Joe. Joe. I'm going to take it. Every time it gives me a yeah. circle prompt, I'm going to do it. It does a good amount of damage is the problem. It's kind of sick that you turned off your god ability right before doing that. It was like you really wanted to feel it. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting, Joe. <laughs> I just wanted to... It's more like I didn't want God to feel it. <laughs> I don't want God to know I'm doing it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's how it works? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. No! Joe, this is so important right now. I know. I it. know. I'm doing my best. Oh, okay, okay. Oh boy, good dodge. I want to be able to do something cooler. Rather than just... Yeah, there we go. Thank now you. this is cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Bam! All right. This is a cool thing to there do. There might be something around still. I want to like... No, I think we... In those things there or anything? Oh, maybe they... Well, can oh, I they throw them at her? It doesn't let me throw them, but I can at least punch them. I want to pick up the, these guys' bodies and throw them. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay. Mm. Use it. God, stop! Take that, buddy. Well done. Nice, man. All right. Nice. Mm. Nice. Yeah, you probably could have done it a little faster. We'll yeah, that's true. It's true. Thanks. Um, thanks for the <laughs> top of the fair. Next time. I, I can only improve. Hmm. It's an effective door. A bunch of freaking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> How? Like, Love the spit. <laughs> How aware? Serious question. How aware do you guys think they were of this game's like campiness? Very. I think one hundred percent. They right? animated him I mean, spitting look at, there. <laughs> look, at the, look at the enemy designs. Yeah, I wonder. Like tripping like, and falling on your face. I think of games like Earth Defense Force though sometimes, which is like. Like that game is so, st- like earnestly stupid, that, but I don't 
I don't think that the people behind that game realized that the dialogue they were writing was just like laughable. Okay. I mean, maybe for the first one, but I think they are definitely leaning into it now, you know? I don't think they are. Mm. <laughs> you think they're trying to be cool? I, do you understand what the story is in that game? In Earth Defense Force? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is it? Uh, there are aliens and you need to kill them. And that's it? Mm-hmm. The what aliens planet? are ants. What planet does it take place on? Uh, it takes place on Earth, yes. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, the aliens are ants, so it's like one of those 1950s like campy movies, oh, right? right? Right. Yeah, that's what they're going for. Yeah. Maybe Joe's the one who's just taking it seriously. That, that could be. I have trouble distinguishing between video games and reality. Nice. Uh, I, want, I want more hand juice. <laughs> <laughs> Lotion? Bring you on a full bar. hand juice. I, it just got full. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. You got it. You got it. Yes. It's pump. Oh, Perfect. I blew it. What exactly does that do? Does it make you like twice as powerful? Hand plant kick. That sounds cool. That sounds I want to do it. So you're going to put your hands on the ground? Maybe. Can one of you guys give me one of those shock sticks? Like, I'll wait. In real life? No, no. Like, you want me to go get the office shock stick? Look, guys, I was talking to my friends on the screen here. Oh, your I'm friends? Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry for eavesdropping. Anybody ever get hit by a taser? No. No. Have you? No. No. Well, I'm just, I mean, sometimes people do it for training and stuff. <laughs> I kind of want to know what it feels like, but... <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, dude. my God, Joe. No! Uh... I was too proud. I did not want to use my hand juice. Gotta use that hand juice. I got pepper spray in the eye. That's oh, no fun. What's was that it, like? Was that for training? No, my friend had it on his belt, and we were moving an amp uh, when I was in a band, and it sprayed in the air. Okay. But we were behind him walking, and we got just kind of the mist. Okay. That stuff burned like nobody's business, and then it was like you'd like wipe your eye, and that'd make it worse, and it'd be on your hands. Yeah. And How long did it last? A long time. Like... We didn't have band practice after that because it was like, it was me and another guy got it. It, it destroyed like, your sucked. band? That was it awesome. Did. Thanks, Leo. Yeah, it was, it was awful. Yeah, Joe Johnny, jo Joe Johnny Knoxville from Jackass, uh, he tested all that self-defense equipment early in his career with tasers and mace and getting shot with a bulletproof vest and stuff, and he said the mace was the worst one. Which surprises me that that's worse than a taser, but I guess it makes sense. He got shot while wearing a bulletproof vest? I think so. Can't that, like, go wrong? Oh, yeah. Kill you? Oh, yeah. That's a bold move. I mean, those guys, you know, they made it look like it was all off the cuff and stuff, but they put a lot of thought into a lot of the things they did. Yeah, Except for when that guy ate that attic. matchbox car. That was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor was just like... Why did you don't do ever do this. Like <laughs> seriously, like this is this is a really bad idea. It's uh, your internal organs. When I think yeah. of Jackass, I think of <laughs> Harry Potter. What? Because yeah. So here's the here's the deal. There was when I don't remember which Harry Potter movie it was, but one of them was coming out. It must have been early because my friends and I went to like a midnight showing of it. And you walked into the wrong theater. And we were like waiting to get tickets for it. And yeah, this must have been a long time ago because I this is when I was young enough to be able to do midnight showing. And now they don't let you in. Uh <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're like, you're a creep. Uh but like so my friends and I were waiting to buy tickets to like get into the midnight showing, and this guy like sees us waiting there and is like, Hey, what are you all waiting for? And we're like, Harry Potter <laughs> <laughs> And he just gives us this like derisive look and it's like Harry Potter, like we're a bunch of nerds, and then uh -huh. he walks up to the ticket window and is like, "One ticket for Jackass, please." <laughs> <laughs> as though this it as fit his it fit his uh, attitude. Yeah, like we're the idiots. He's the cool guy. Watch out. <laughs> Are you saying that's not true? Uh, yes. Harry Potter is cooler than Jackass. Ah. I'll have that discussion. Oh, maybe oh, wait, wait, I can punch him. Yeah. Yeah! I like the idea of punching hydraulic machinery. <laughs> Let's do it. Is it doing anything? It will. <laughs> it will. There we go. 
Yeah, that was the way to go. All right, Leo, let's hear it. What's your most embarrassing story? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get out of there. Harry Potter versus Jackass. Well, I mean, they're two of the same cloth, for sure. Oh, where did those guys come from? That is what an excellent heck? question. But I hope the hydraulic... Yeah, okay, it killed one of them. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Yeah, oh, nice yeah. strategy. Nice. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Game of the year. Love this. Jackass is, I feel, is interesting because I enjoy it just as much now as I did when I was a kid, you know? It's a very carnal pleasure to watch Jackass. Yeah, I mean, I thought the personalities were great. What they did was always like, oh boy, how is this going to go wrong? You know, you had that yeah. thought in the back of your head. Uh, and they're still the best at it. There's so many prank and stunt YouTube channels and stuff that just never oh, come yeah. close to the, the yeah. personality. I guess it all started with Tom Green, right? Did it really? Is that before Jackass? That was, yeah. Tom Green was. Oh, he wasn't on Jackass. But he was kind of, yeah. But he was kind of the innovator of that public, public, being a nuisance, uh -huh. doing dumb stuff. Um, and then everybody knew who he was, and he couldn't do it anymore. Whereas Jackass, they did more kind of stunts and stuff. Yeah. So they kind of preserved their their shtick. Yeah. Tom Green had a, like a. Skit, or it wasn't even a skit. He like went out to stores with like and tried to buy things with like just pennies. So you get like a like a hundred dollars worth of pennies and try to buy something with pennies. <laughs> we thought it was really funny. Oh. Those are the days. Oh yeah. Uh, do you die if you do that? Or I, I think we're ready for it. We can do it. I'm ready for your challenge. Yeah, we got time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was it Tom Green that did the statue of his parents doing it out in the front yard? Like they had it set up, and then when they woke up in the morning, you took them outside. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> I no! Think it was. This is messed up. Really? Uh, I don't know. I hadn't heard of that one. Who's the comedian that goes around and tries to improve businesses? Nathan, Nathan Fielder. Fielder. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nathan Fielder, yeah. That guy is genius. Yeah. That is an amazing show. That but that's the thing, awesome. like, if it takes off... He's in trouble, right? Because, uh, again, everybody will know who he is. Yeah. Well, I mean, some stuff he was able to... Ha like the dumb Starbucks thing. Like, that took off <laughs> and became popular, but, like, nobody knew it was him necessarily. Exactly. So, yeah, it right. still kind of works. Dumb Starbucks was fantastic. <laughs> that's the that's the magic of his work, is that him he can still surprise people, even though his show is popular. Like, that bit where he told that story on... Jimmy Fallon, oh, yeah. and then, and then the, like, he has an episode the next season about how he made that fake story true yeah, so six, that he could tell it. Six months later. <laughs> Wait, I didn't hear about this. What what happened? He just told this goofy story about getting pulled over by the cops. Like, he tried to engineer this perfect right. talk show story. Okay. And then when the, his next season of his show came out, he <laughs> talked about how he came up with the story, and then he had to make all the events come true <laughs> so that he wasn't lying on television. <laughs> That's incredible. Well, like the <laughs> Kimmel thing happened, and like everybody's like, "Oh, that was an awesome story." Nathan Fielder did an awesome job. Yeah, and that six, clip went viral went, by itself. Yeah, that was a, went viral, and then like six months later, the show came out, and you like saw the, like behind the scenes. It was like, "Oh, this wasn't just a normal story." <laughs> that guy's kind of awesome. Yeah. What's his show called? Nathan for you. Yeah. yeah. If you haven't watched it, absolutely take the time. Stop watching this crap and watch watch that. Yeah. Hold it on, I have hard to watch later. at times. I have an Amazing. idea of how to approach this fight. Okay. What's it on? Is it on Netflix or Hulu or? It's been on Hulu. I don't know if it's still Interesting is. approach. That was pretty much my whole idea right there. Uh, Gravel. That was very oh. cool. Cool counter. You got plenty of There's coins. There's a box. Gravel. I'll try Gravel in the next time. I do want to know what that does. She's angry. She's super angry. Joe. Joe. I'm going to do it every you know time. You have and not even because I love spanking, which I do. Oh, you have left. a stomp option. You spanked them. This is going to go bad. There's there's Gravel. boxes behind you. Gravel. Use your, use your coins. Okay. Okay. Oh, cinematic. What? what? Uh, did that was a mistake. Like. But I do like where this is going. Yeah, Whoa. you're so cool. Awesome. He is pretty cool. Boxes behind you. 
full circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh no. There was a rocket yeah. launcher in there. Oh yeah. Time. Here we go. I like I like it. I like it. I'm probably going to be shooting a rocket launcher at whatever's on this There's list. boxes across the way. What? Oh my gosh. Wow. wow. Bowling. Do, do it. it. Do it. Do, do it. it. Shoot it. Wait. Figure it out. In their way to Whoop. do it. Whoop. Oh. Oh. Yeah! Uh, no, nope. I don't think that counts. <laughs> he would have done way more damage. <laughs> All right, grovel. Oh, or or oh, we're to get is... those boxes. We'll see what it does. <laughs> oh, it just brings your level down? What the hell did you just do? Dude, that was super lame. Why did I do that? <laughs> I'll look this up. Oh my gosh, you must. <laughs> Is that only when you're level two or something? Bring it down. Nice, job. nice. Oh, All right. Fox is behind you. That's yeah. what I wanted. Yep. Okay. Goes one guy left. Damn oh, it! Oh boy. Oh, get out of there. Now nah, I'll be okay. You better be. I think I know what I'm doing here, guys. Guard break. Oh, nice. Masterfully done. Bang. Oh, you didn't want to spank him, Joe? It doesn't let you do that Son with the dude. Really? I wonder if I can just skip it. Like, first, let's get some money. And it's just like... Slide whistle's really good. There we go. There we go. Smart. <laughs> Problem Smartly solved. Smartly played section. <laughs> well played. Oh. Uh -oh. We'll Round two for three. <laughs> you should consider a change in careers. <laughs> With this guy, let's are, see, when did this game come human. out? Do you guys remember? 2005? 2006. Whoa. Oh, good. Are they murdered now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. I'm trying to think of whether or not that guy would have been considered cool. Oh, hell yeah. Because like, I'm like Dante's cool, right? Okay, so I'll tell you what. I'm I'm watching I'm it's watching cool the show I'm watching the show Lost right now, mm -hmm. which I I did not watch when it first aired. So Wait, really? So it's all new to me. But like the character of Sawyer, like <laughs> I think in probably the early 2000s had sort of a cool bad boy sort of vibe to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is intolerable. Hmm. Like interesting take. Everything having to do with that character, any story he's involved in, any interaction he has, like I just want him to be nuked from orbit. I think you would have thought the same thing when the show aired, though, Joe. Because I don't know. This is your it's, personality. It seems like it seems like he, he was he would have been like some of the things that he does would have been like less odious at the time. What? How many seasons in are you? Ah, uh, just like two. Okay. That's interesting that uh, you don't like him that much. Or no, at all. Yeah. Oh, I see. What you mean. Yeah. Okay, so groveling. Like groveling lowers the level, makes it easier to get through that zone. Well, this is a new one. Yeah, I don't kind love of that. Wish, kind of wish I did not immediately blow my hand juice. Well, Joe, you shouldn't watch Colony then, because that guy's in it. I got to an episode of Community recently that he was in and was a little disappointed. Oh, I don't remember that. You just don't like this guy. No, I, I think he's him. fantastic. Wait, what episode of Community is that? Uh, it's one of the paintball. Yeah, episodes. the fistful of paintballs. Hmm. Huh. What's his name? Joshua Holloway? Josh Holloway? Holloway? Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you kind of in Joel McHale's situation in that episode where you uh, think he's not as handsome as everybody else does? Uh, oh, no. He's oh, handsome. Is, is that the okay. situation? Don't get me wrong. There. You're jealous? Yeah, his hair, when his shirt comes off, oh, jawline. Man. I remember yeah. it's a normal looking guy with a good chin. Right, or you <laughs> wanted him to like lose an eye or something. Wow. I just remember like we were, there was one season where you're like, I think he's going to lose an eye or something. <laughs> 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 we all had our theories about it. Like, he's, oh. he's too handsome. Something bad's oh, got to happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, Great. Now, now you guys spoiled it for me. Now I know Sawyer never loses an eye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. It was a big plot point in season five. <laughs> Is it, it's like will they, won't they, except losing an eye. He could still lose both eyes, Josh. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't specify. Um, or the third eye he gets. <laughs> like he that one. touch with his third eye. No. Uh, Ball buster for sure hundred. on this guy. Oh, what? Did you lose him? I don't think so. I would do the, the hundred one. Wild pitch! 
So you're just a jack guy then? Because that's like the big love triangle, right? Like, Nah, they're all kind of douchebags. Hmm. Well, that's kind of the point of the show, though. You don't have, like Evangeline Lily? I like uh, I like Hurley. Yeah, Hurley's good. Right. Do you like Jin? And Tonic? I like Jin because he's uh, Johnny Gat in Saints Row. That's right. Oh, is he the same? Yeah. One second. Pummel, 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 pummel. Yeah! Serpent crotch destroyed. Boom. Did you get a spear? Dude, you worked that. What can I say? Serpent crotch is really getting me upset. Take his spear. I don't know if that's an option. Dude, pick it up. Go back. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, it is an option. Kill them. Oh, yeah. Yep, that feels good. Demon speared. Uh, oh, no. Man. Hey, that's all right. I had my fun. It was worth it. <laughs> Video game elevators, I tell you. For or against? Uh, kind of against. Uh. I always... It's so stressful when you get on an elevator and it starts moving and enemies jump on. And it's fun gameplay. Like God of War, you know, they had those sequences in the new one. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, uh, how many waves is there going to be... I gotta redo it all. I am especially for elevators in games where they let you knock enemies off the elevator. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like those old like ten ne teenage mutant ninja turtle games. Exactly. Like yeah. those side-scrolling. Yep. Platformer, action games. Those are awesome. I remember being very impressed by Daxter on PSP for having elevators to mask its loads, so there were no loading yeah. screens in it. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. The Naughty Dog trick. No. The loading. Mass Effect approach. Oh yeah. I was really impressed. <laughs> Citadel's elevator? With and how long that took. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, but what if I did this? Uh, if you want to see an, a long elevator ride that's hilarious, check out the first episode of Star Trek Next Generation. Bam! There's a sequence where they're showing off their engine room, like okay. the sprawling set, and you could tell it's like they're really like proud of what they built. And they have a working elevator on there that goes up one floor. Uh-huh. Patrick Stewart, uh, Picard gets on it. It is the slowest elevator ever. And he's standing there like like a badass, and it's just barely moving. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, that's, and that's the only time you see that elevator, I think. <laughs> yeah. Like, we got to get rid of this, guys. Man. Whoa! He's good. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Old box falling trick. Oh, boy. There's also a sequence in that episode. <laughs> <Look how he laughs> was. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. Yeah, there's also a sequence in that episode where number one comes on the ship. Uh, what's his name? Uh, William Riker. Yeah, what? William Riker. Oh, come on. Mm. And they need to catch him up on what's going on. So they put him in the corner on the bridge, and there's this little TV that's like a, I don't know, a little 10-inch screen. Mm hmm and to catch him up on the big plot stuff that's going, he just starts watching the episode. What? Yes. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Same camera angles and everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is like first season, you said? Yeah. Like, I think it's all in the first episode. You're not thinking of space balls, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I know no. that can get confusing. Uh, man, I want to do one of these. Whatever. Let's do it. You've earned it. Daisy Cutter! Bang! Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That only costs one, right? Yeah. Yeah, you should just keep doing it. How much damage does it do, though? It, it's uh, oh, a, quite it's a bit. Not a big damage dealer, but it does. <laughs> What's it this guy doing? He's just waiting. <laughs> yeah. I, he's patient. I'm next. The way he's wiggling around, it's like he's trying to get a shot off, you know? He's <laughs> trying to find an angle to come I, in. How at. do I get in there? I don't want to cut in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. I punch him. What? Oh. <laughs> Can I have this dance? <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, oh! Oh, that is messed up. Get him out of there! Dude. Why did we make fun of him? There we go. Mm. Give me that orange. Oh, okay, good. I feel like I had little responsibility for that victory. I know we're coming to the end of the episode here, but real quick, best juice, best fruit juice. Mm. Is this for you personally, or is it something you just saw on screen? The fruit? I want to say. It got me thinking. Okay, and it has to be fruit juice. Yeah. So no crap like carrot juice or breakfast smoothie or whatever. Whoa. That, that stuff is. Right. Because okay. it's a vegetable. One fruit. Which fruit provides the best juice? Okay. Orange juice. Uh, 
I really I like orange juice, but there's a lot of others I prefer. The best juice is wine. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, mommy juice. Leo, mommy juice. I've said I call this, it my mommy juice. <laughs> I've said this on replay before. Orange juice, and you put some raspberries in it. Oh, I think oh, I have right. it. Right. Yeah. That sounds good, actually. It's the best. People immediately wrote in and were like, nah, that wasn't good, dude. Really? <laughs> sounds good. These are probably the same people who ate your gummy bear Cheeto suggestion. No, that was er, intentionally Dorito. trying to gross people out <laughs> in, into doing something dumb, and they did it. And I'm super <laughs> proud that they did it and wrote in and were like, you guys suck for doing this. Yeah, the gummy, <laughs> the gummy crunch. The gummy crunch. Yeah, it was uh, these 3D the, Doritos. Yeah, back when 3D Doritos existed. Yeah, they were, were like... like uh, pyramids of Dorito. Yeah, and then he just bit the top off, and we said, just put a gummy bear in there so its head's sticking out, uh -huh. and then eat it. <laughs> but if you did that, the, the uh, chewing sensation of like a hard chip, and it was a Cool Ranch Dorito, Cool Ranch Dorito, and then gummy, just a typical gummy, <laughs> oh. it like messed with your brain and was awful. Oh, weird. Yeah, it sounds real bad. Uh, you, you but we gotta end the episode. Yeah, we can power up. If you know what's surprisingly drinkable, and you should try it at home, is tall glass of orange juice, and then rim the glass with toothpaste. Yeah, <laughs> and a margarita. Well, glass. they always say after you brush your teeth, yeah. you should have a glass. Surprisingly of good. All right. On that <laughs> note, that's another episode, and uh, wow, we covered some topics, but more importantly, Joe Juba made a lot of progress. I mm -hmm. think we did all right. Yeah. Can I just give him a hand? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Joe. Yeah. Mm, you thanks. get a god mm -hmm. hand. I'm, I'm the guy. I'm the one. All right. We'll see you next time, everyone.